So I realized I didn't have an intro for this video, so I just wanted to hop in and say hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Suzette or Susie. I go by mini skirts on my social media. And for this video, I'm just gonna review and kind of demonstrate how I use my French press to make cold brews and my thoughts on it. And I'll link stuff and post pictures of the French press and the coffee and stuff for you guys. So that's basically it for the intro. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I look like so I'm not going to come on this shot, but I just need to do my cold brew right now <laughs> so that it's ready for tomorrow. This is the coffee that we use. We bought it on Amazon. This is a Colombia medium roast. I don't know what the brand is, but it's an Amazon fresh brand. So I'm going to put three fourths cup. I think I'm going to put three fourths cup of coffee. I'm not perfect. That's like, to me, that's like three fourths cup. The, line, the cup line is up here. I'm gonna do it in the mason jar and then I'm gonna do another brew in the French press. And the reason that I'm doing another one here is because I can just pour it in here and then press it uh, when it once it's done. I just wanna have more cold brew ready to store and right here it's only so much that fits, you know? So anyway, let's, let me pour this in here. I know we spill some. But this is 3 fourths cup of coffee. I'm gonna pour some in here. And then to the 3 fourths cup, you're going to do, I think it's 4 cups of water. And 16 ounces is 2 cups. This is going to be supposed to be 2 water bottles, but I don't know if it'll all fit. Someone said to do it circular motions and to do half to let all the coffee um, get soaked. What I'm going to do is kind of press it down to mix the coffee. And then I'm just going to put the top on it. So now we put them both. We put them both in the fridge. And they're going to be in there from at least 16 hours. So right now it is midday. It's 12 noon. I want one of them to be, for Brian to be able to make himself a drink tomorrow morning if he wants to. So that would be like 15 hours and that's good enough. The other one will probably leave it for the 24 hours. So until tomorrow at midday. You don't have to do it in the fridge. You can leave it in room temperature. I think the point is just that it's not hot water brewing over coffee. It's just cold brew it's just getting infused so we're gonna let that sit and then we'll check in when it's ready good morning it's wednesday it's really cold outside it's snowing i'm wearing the same thing that i'm wearing in a different video if you saw that video because it's probably going up first i don't know which one's going up first but i'm gonna be wearing the same thing in two videos so just worry about yourself like just mind your business <laughs> i'm just kidding i just wanted to do um two different things that didn't go together in the same video anyway it's coffee time so let's make a cold brew with my french press been going with I actually been using the coconut whip but I guess I used it up already mm. 
uh, the pumpkin spice with just a little bit of um, caramel. That's bomb. And then the pumpkin spice is sugar free, so the caramel gives it just a little bit of that sweetness. Mm. I highly recommend this. Now I just need to put away the rest of the coffee. Um, what I'm gonna do is just, I pushed it all the way down, it's pressed, right? So now I'm just gonna pour it into another container. Whatever coffee is left in there, cover it. And this goes in the fridge, this is stored, I don't know for how long, but I'm gonna drink this in the next days. <laughs> if I don't, Brian will. Definitely by the weekend or in the week on the weekend it'll be gone. Just put this away in the fridge or in another container that you have. Like you can probably put it in this too, but you would just take out the, the coffee so that it doesn't keep brewing. So the cold brew's done. Now you just store it like if you were storing anything else in the fridge, I guess. <laughs> From what I read, that's how it was. You can make cold brews like this without a French press. But the tricky part is going to be to filter the, the coffee from the grind, the ground coffee. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake this up a little bit, loosen the, the coffee grinds, and then after I clean this out, I'm going to pour it in here and then just press it. <laughs> I can get two brews at the same time. So yeah, you can make a, a cold brew in a mason jar like this or any container that you can seal. I'm not sure if, you need, if it needs to be sealed, but I would just seal it just for like sanitary reasons. If you're going to have it in the fridge, you don't want anything to like bacteria or anything to go in there. You can also get like a, I guess like a coffee filter and then just pour it or um, what I did the first time was I think I got a strainer because it was a very small strainer I poured it through there I really like my French press um, I'm gonna ask Brian since it was a gift I'm gonna ask him for the link so that I can link it for you guys I think it's worth it if you drink a lot of cold coffee because it's winter right now it's like it's literally snowing outside but I can't drink hot coffee anymore like I have to like really be in a mood but cold coffee I can drink it every day all day like not all day because I literally won't sleep but <laughs> But um, yeah, I'll link that so you can decide for yourself. The most tedious part, I guess, is just like cleaning this out. Once you take it out, clean it out so that like it's ready to go. It does come with like two other filters. So I don't know how to install them or switch them out. But you just loosen these up, empty it, and then you can just do it again. I think it's worth it. But anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, more reviews. So let me know. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.